Hi guys, this is Ivro K friend. Today I'm gonna show you how to overclock your video card. Uh, why overclock overclock your video card? First of all, you're buy you're buying a card for I don't know 300 to 150, and sometimes you you don't have like the maximum power of your video card. Uh, for example, MSI decide to oh uh, your core clock will be uh, one uh, thousand uh, megahertz, but you can go more than that to improve the, the performance of your video card. So, I will show you. It's a very uh, simple and quick tutorial for newbies because uh, you can go farther and move your voltage. But me, I will show you like how to do it very safely and uh, without uh, risking to burn your video card. <laughs> and uh, the trick that I will give you, uh, you can use it on AMD card, NVIDIA card. You, we don't care. It's uh, pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, any card that you have, a new generation, old generation, you can you can improve uh, by the tips that I will give you. So first of all, you need to download MSI Afterburner. I think it's a very good uh, software uh, to uh, overclock video card. You got a lot of options, it's, and it's a pretty, um, how can I say, majority of the overclocker is using this, so uh, it's pretty uh, popular. So first of all, go to Settings, and make sure that you click everything here. Except for this one, force constant voltage. This one uh, I don't like recommend it because the thing is you will um, you will always push the maximum voltage on your video card even if you're like in the, your desktop like am I right now. Uh, so you don't want your video card always be at 100%. So uh, you see right now I'm at 43 degrees, so it's pretty low because I'm not doing anything. But when I play a game, I can go on like over. 85 86 degrees so yeah that's about it but if you're pushing always the maximum voltage in your cart uh, for sure your cart will be like uh, higher than this so I, I don't recommend it also make sure that you're uh, you clicking start with windows and start minimize just for uh, <laughs> uh, to be like always have your uh, video card um, overclock also make sure to remove all the on-screen dis on screen display all to none uh, I don't this is like it can't work properly but the thing is I saw a lot of people have like even me on my second computer have some problem with it uh, you think that your overclocking overclocking is not working but it's a bug with the on-screen display you you got some gray artifact and it's just like freeze your computer so uh, just make sure that's always removed uh, before it was at on when you were downloading the program but now everything is at none so they changed it because they know uh, they have a lot of problem with it so yeah, that's about it. Um, so now, as you can see, you have your core voltage, your power limit, temp limit, core clock, memory clock, and the fan speed. Here, first of all, fan speed, just uh, let auto, because if you overclock your card, uh, fan speed will increase automatically, decrease automatically if you're in your desktop. For sure, you can put like 60 or 70 fan speed but you will hear like a really big noise in your computer of, of your fan and it will always be at 70 so for an example if you're just say, in your desktop again uh you don't want your video card go crazy with the fan so so when you're overclocking your card start with the core clock this one is the more important and go by 50 megahertz batches okay so depending on your video card is it a reference model you know with the like uh plain turbine on it not very good for overclocking or other version msi version a asus avga etc they have, have like some special cooler uh that's better for overclocking so depending on your video card and a lot of different variable you can get five percent to 20 25 percent uh improve in your the performance of your video card so start with court clock uh upgrade each like 50 megahertz so me i was at 1000 i don't have a great video card right now on this computer it's like a vision tech r9 280x uh, i don't have a lot of gap to overclock but it's a decent overclock here so do 50 and start benchmark you can use 3d mark or uni engine this one is free 3d mark you need to buy it uh, I will post both link on the YouTube description so you can download it. So each time you do a overclock, make sure to you use like Uni Engine. You do the benchmark. You will have a score. Save your score. Remember it, and uh, make sure your computer is not freezing. If your computer freeze, it's because you you did too much. Or so just make sure you can reset your computer computer and lower your core clock a little bit. Okay. So the goal here is to 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 make freeze like. 
to freeze your computer but don't do like maximum but for sure it will freeze it's to have like just a little bit before your computer freeze so for an example you can put like a uh, for me, the maximum at 1,150, I got some problem with some artifact and stuff. So uh, that's why I'm staying with this. So each 50 until you bug. After that, you go a little bit lower. Oh, perfect. It's working. After that, you can work on your memory cloud. Uh, I think this one, it's working better on NVIDIA and on AMD. It's a little bit weird. Uh, on my video card, I just put like 20 and I got some problem. And even... Make sure you're always testing your computer because sometimes you can it can work, but you will score lower in the benchmark. So make sure you always benchmark your stuff. And the last thing, sometimes your video card can't like get some artifact or just freeze like your computer freeze because you don't have uh, like how can I say that? You need more voltage on your video card. For this one, if you're a newbie, don't touch it for now. You can research on the web. So for an example, I don't know, you have like a GTX 970. Just like go on the web, uh, read what people are saying about your video card and what kind of voltage they use. So you can improve it a little bit. And after that, you will you can put more core clock on your video card. Uh, this one is dangerous to burn your video card. So that's why I'm saying if you're a noob, just use core clock for now. Just do some like small tweaking, get your 70 to 10% overclock uh, performance on your video card and you will be happy. And after that, you can decide to touch this one a little bit more with some research on the web. And the only thing you need to do, test, test, make sure your temperature is good. Uh, you will see an AMD car go very higher if you compare to a, an NVIDIA card. So for me, uh, for example, when I play Doom, I can get like 85, 86 degrees. Uh, you don't want to go over 90 and even 90, it's not that great. For me, a 85, 86 is pretty much a maximum. And uh, normally you can damage your car, I think, if on, until 95 degrees. So, but anyway, you don't want to go there. So make sure that you're uh, lower than this. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. If you have any question, um, just post it in the comment section on my YouTube video. I will answer you. Just uh, say uh, which card, uh, what you want to do uh, with your core memory, whatever, w w anything that you have some problem. And I can help you with the voltage too, depending on your video card. So that's about it, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and ciao. Peace.